Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am doing my 2022 favourites. I have literally got like so much stuff here to talk to you about. So let's just get into it. Yes, I've been absent. I was going to do Christmas videos and yeah, that didn't go to plan. A lot of stuff's happened and yeah, so that is why we are not doing that today. So... I don't even know where to begin. I literally have a bag full of stuff that is my 2022 favourites. So let's begin with hair. So shampoo. Uh, it's a 2022 favourites. It's been a favourite of, of mine for a few years now. I literally love it. And my hair has never, ever, ever been in the condition that it's in since using this. This is the function of beauty. And this is the shampoo. I haven't got the conditioner. I prefer to use shampoo because I prefer to use hair masks on my hair. So this is basically a subscription service where you, this is basically made for my hair. And it will ask you what hair type you have, what scalp type you have, your goals. Um, and then you get to choose your scent and then your colour. So this is my shampoo. I have a shampoo and conditioner as well that is also a favourite of mine. Um, that I will use in between and this is the hair burst um, this is for stronger for longer stronger hair and this is the shampoo um, and I also have the conditioner but I actually got this off TikTok shop because they were selling it as a bundle um, so yeah that's quite good styling products I thought a lot of people don't actually talk about their styling pro products and when my hair is wet and I want to dry it and then style it um, I go in with the Pantene Pro-V Keratin Protect Oil. This honestly makes your hair so, so nice, so, so shiny, and it's literally a favorite of mine. And then for styling um, like curls or a slick bun and stuff like that, I go in with the Got To Be Glue um, Hairspray. This is honestly amazing. And it actually smells amazing as well. Some hairsprays just sell, smell a bit toxic. Um, so this is a favourite of mine. I bought this um, recently and I've always used Tangle Teasers but I really wanted one with a handle because they're not, they're not easy to hold. So I actually got this, um, this was actually from Amazon but this is actually the Tangle Teaser um, and this is just honestly so nice on your hair and as you can see the bristles are like different, can you see that? They're like different lengths so they can like really like get all the knots out of your hair and it doesn't actually pull your hair which is actually so much better for your hair to his face so when it comes to face washing i use two products um this is the cerave foaming facial cleanser for normal to dry normal to oily skin this is honestly so so nice your skin will just feel amazing after and then i've also got this which um, is a gentle skin cleanser for your face and body for dry and sensitive skin this is also no fragrance free and no soap free so if you have any light spots and stuff like that use this they will literally clear over days this has helped me so much when i've got like a spot coming up i use this and it's literally gone but this is also good on with V, I have the facial moisturizing lotion for normal to dry skin this is SPF 25 in and this is another favorite of mine I always put this on before my makeup and obviously because it's got SPF in as well it literally is 10 out of 10 I also recently subscribed to skin and me um, and this is a moisturizer that is basically to fit your face your skin your goals the same as the function of beauty but this is for your face um and it's actually got experts of dermatologists dim 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 um that work on this uh, and work on your goals so this is just aimed for me and what i want out of my skin um but this is so good because when you twist it it will give you the right amount for the day um but yeah it's so good definitely worth getting because it's definitely a favorite of mine i have two fake tans that i literally love 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 um and i've loved these for a while but i thought i'd feature these because i still use them 
Um, so I've also I've got the B tan. I want the darkest tan possible because this is actually amazing. And when you wash it off, it's it's still like really nice and dark. So this one is a hour self tan mousse, and then obviously we wash it off, and then it will gradually still build up. And then I've got the Bondi Sands. Uh, Australian tan and this is a self tanning foam in dark and this has a coconut scent um, and again depending on how long you leave it on for is how dark you get basically before you wash it off but they're both um, gradual tans so they develop even when you've washed them off they carry on developing um, which is perfect another hair product so when um, Obviously, because I use a lot of straightening on my hair, a lot of heat um, and a lot of colour. Um, I go in with this Matrix Total Results Miracle Creator. Now, this is a multitasking treatment. Um, so, it literally has everything in it. Um, it basically... So, it's got 20 beautify, beautifying benefits for your hair. It's uh, leave-in nourishment, boost shine, smooths the cuticle, helps prevent breakage from brushing, adds moisture, helps prevent heat damage, helps fight frizz, um, <clears throat> even out por porosity, uh, minimizes damage, detangles, conditions lightly, helps improve the appearance of split ends, uh, helps soften, controls fly flyaways, reduces dryness, makes blow dry process easier, helps correct roughness, helps shield against external aggressors, improves manageability and primes hair for styling so you can imagine what like this has literally everything in and it smells amazing so i put this on my hair when it's wet and then it's just ready for the day i'll talk about perfume so there is three perfumes that are like my top top that i will always buy i will always wear um and they are literally my favorite perfume of forever if they discontinue this perfume then i'll probably cry so <clears throat> there's three that are in literally like i use a lot of different perfumes but three are in my top favorites because these are basically perfumes that i can't live without and i have to keep buying them because i love them so so much um yes they are a little bit more high end um they are quite expensive that, that is what i will say but they last quite a while um i've had one of them for about a year um yes it was a big bottle but because they're st on the stronger side of perfumes you don't need a lot so that is how i look at it so the first one is the um imperial armani because it's you perfume as you can see this one is starting to run out this is, i've had this a year um and it is starting to run out now but i do have another one obviously but this it's really sweet it's really strong and it just smells amazing and the amount of compliments i get wearing this perfume like oh my god you smell well nice and like people have said like oh my god i could smell you in the corridor and that's how strong this perfume is and it is honestly such a nice smell but it's really sweet so if you don't like sweet perfume this is probably not the one for you but i tend to go for more sweet than floral don't really like the floral um perfumes but that's just personal preference to me the next one is the Gucci Bamboo, as you can see. So this is actually, um, I've recently repurchased this, that's why there's quite a bit in here. But this, it it smells, again, sweet, strong, um, with a little bit of floral in it, I'd say. But it's not like overpowering. But this is just, it, this scent is just it's hard to describe but it's absolutely lovely so if you ever go to a perfume shop ask to smell this because honestly it's really really nice but again it is pricey the final perfume that is literally a favorite of mine that i only actually found this year and that was a funny story so basically i was in this perfume shop i was looking at the perfume and I literally couldn't decide what perfume i was up and down up and down the aisles i want to try something new and i was near alien and um i was looking at alien and i was like mm, do i get alien because i do like alien um but i've never actually purchased it before i know shock um probably the only girl in the whole world that's never purchased alien and the 
security guard was like oh why don't you smell this and I was like okay he sprayed it on a card thing for me and I was like oh my god that's amazing he was like yeah it's recently just come out and everyone was going crazy for it when I was working here like everyone was just buying it and it had to run out of stock I was like oh okay he was like yeah it's really really nice and I was like oh I do actually really like the smell of it so I kept like waving it around letting it like develop a little bit longer smelling it smelling it and I was like do you know what this smells amazing and I went to purchase it because I was like this is actually is such a nice smell and again I get so many compliments on this perfume because it literally smells so nice so this is the Mul Mulgla, um Angel Nova perfume and honestly this is actually amazing and I've never smelled anything like it before again it's like sweet strong but Honestly, I've never smelled anything like it before. I've smelled the other angels and they do not compare to this one. So this one is the Angel Nova. So if you did want... Also, this is a re, re, uh, re like refillable. But also, did you know that people, they do that now in perfume shops? That you can actually get this refilled rather than buy a whole new bottle again. Which I literally couldn't believe. But quite a good idea. So yeah, that, I'm going to talk about this quickly because I don't have anything else for teeth um i actually got this off tiktok shop and i've been using it ever since and this is actually amazing um, and this is the high smile color corrector this is basically like purple shampoo you use it on your hair to get rid of the yellow tones and it will make them white but they designed a toothpaste that does exactly the same thing and it makes your teeth white so it basically counteracts yellow tones and with the from the purple and creates your teeth to be white which is absolutely amazing and it doesn't actually taste bad either it actually tastes okay um because that was my concern i was like oh, but what does it taste like but yeah it's so good it's so good so that so for night cream um the the my one favorite night cream is the ultra lift beauty um garnier skin active night cream this is actually amazing and it's just in a little pot um as you can see mine is very low but it's a good night cream to wear um at night and yeah it's just really nice on the skin it's not too heavy um but wearing obviously at night it has to be a little bit more heavier than a day cream but yeah 10 10 for that uh, the next one is actually something that I came across this year um, because Primark released it and it's a dupe for the Bobbi Brown. So this is the PS Prep and Perfect Vitamin Enriched Moisturising Primer. This is honestly amazing and this was £4.50. I have actually been to Primark since and they are still doing it. So if you haven't got this yet, go get it because this is absolutely amazing and it's like just this little pot. It even smells like the Bobbi Brown primer um but yeah honestly amazing 10 10 for that because you can use it as a moisturizer or you can use it as a primer or you can use it as both which is literally perfect for primer i came across this this year and it literally holds my makeup like no other primer has ever held my makeup and this is the power grip primer by elf this is honestly amazing i love this primer and I will go on to buy more because this is honestly it makes your skin so so tacky and it literally holds your makeup all night long so definitely recommend this if you haven't got this yet but yeah definitely recommend Moving on from that going with foundation so i'll try and do it in the order of like a face routine just to make it easier so there is two foundations that i've come across this year and i've literally been loving and they make my skin look amazing and they are they're more of the full coverage side of foundations because that tends to be what i prefer but it's fine um i do have other foundations that i love but these are definitely my go-to's if i'm going on a night out or i'm getting ready to go out for dinner or whatever these will be the first ones I grab. So the first one is the Revolution IRL Filter Foundation in the shade F5. You you know I've talked about this on my channel for like so much. I'm always putting this on because I literally love this. I do want to try another shade though because the other day I put it on and it went really pink and I was like, this doesn't normally do this. So why is it so pink? Um, but maybe it just needs a little bit of a shake and it should be fine. But yeah, 
and this is only like 10 pounds so yeah super affordable super full coverage it's, it is like a more matte primer and it's also 16 hour wear which is amazing 16 hour wear so you know your makeup is going to hold all night the next one is the be perfect chroma cover foundation this is honestly this went viral on tiktok and i was like i have to give in and try it so here it is um mine is in the shade c3 but yeah this is this is very very similar to the irl foundation but i think this one is a little bit more thicker maybe a little bit more matte but yeah they're both really good concealer so one of the concealers that i came across this year and i've literally loved and i will go on to buy more and more and more and more and more and i'll probably keep this in my face routine for the rest of my life until another good one comes out because i've never ever 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 had a concealer that is this good before and i'm literally loving the results and it is the h and b's cosmetics soft focus airbrush concealer this is honestly amazing and she has just brought out foundation um so i am willing to try that but i've seen a lot of reviews and people are like they're not as hyped as the concealers as they are with the foundations so but yeah this is honestly amazing you get quite a nice big doe far these the um shade range is actually really good as well and mine is in the shade sf 0.5 n so yeah it's quite a light shade but they also do like a white shade so if you do want that brightening you, you can really really go from it literally go from the lightest shade possible to the darkest shade um so yeah 10 10 for that primer is an eye base one um a concealer is the eye base one and this will always be in my makeup routine for a long time i think because this is actually one of my go-to favorites and i've gone to repurchase it again and it lasts for a long time to be fair and this is the um beauty bay eye base i don't actually know what shade it is because it doesn't actually say it on the bottle but this is the eye base but they, again they've got quite a wide range of um shades for this and it is so affordable affordable because it's beauty bay super super affordable and such such a good um brand to be fair contour so i've actually only got one contour that i'm literally loving at the moment and that is actually the beauty bay cronza this is honestly amazing um i've never used anything like it it's like butter on the skin it's easy to blend it just looks super flawless on the skin um mine is in the shade sand as you can see it's just like this really really buttery yeah it's really nice the only thing i will say with this is the shade range there isn't like a massive wide range of sh shades because it is um bronzer cream bronzer cronzer um but yeah and i thought this would be too dark but once you actually blend it in it looks really really nice so yeah it's like that sun-kissed sort of skin super super nice liquid blush there's only one liquid blush that I could ever talk about and um, that has literally been a fave of mine this year and it is the Made by Mitchell liquid blush and mine is in the shade Strawberries and Cream and honestly, well actually it's a blush, not a blush, but it is a liquid blush. But you can use it, these, the good thing about these products is they are multi-use so you can use them on your eyes, your lips, your cheeks, you can literally use them everywhere, they are honestly amazing and look at that color that color is absolutely stunning and yeah this will forever be in my makeup routine because made by mitchell's products are incredible powder there's a couple of powders actually that i use um one of them i actually only purchased the other day and i've literally been loving it um because i've been wanting a pink powder for a while and no it wasn't the hoodie beauty one because that one you literally cannot get hold of um so the first one is what on a uh, one that i would use underneath my eyes because it literally gives me that brightener and it is the revolution conceal and define um satin matte powder foundation so even though it's a powder foundation you just only need a little bit so when you put it on your powder path or your brush 
make sure you get any excess off and then you can put it on and it's just so brightening um, and it's obviously full coverage as well so if your concealer isn't full coverage and you go in with this this will honestly just be perfect um mine is in the shade p 0.2 so when you open it you get like a little puff and then as you can see i've hit pan on mine now but yeah it is i don't actually use this little puff though so yeah and it's revolution it's super affordable so good um the next one is actually a strange purchase um but i've actually been loving it because it's very very fine powder and it's not too heavy when you put it on the skin and this is the technique soft focus transparent loose powder this is honestly amazing as you can see that that's how loose it is it's very very fine but put it on your skin and it literally just smooths your skin and just feels amazing so yeah that is a favorite of mine i love that so the pink one is one i actually recently purchased and i've only been using it for um a few days but it has actually made it to this video because i literally love it and it is the um the beauty crop vitamin babe setting powder and mine is in the shade in the pink shade um yeah it is amazing i saw a girl on tiktok and she did a um like a difference between the banana one like the yellow one and then the pink one to see if there was actually a difference and the pink one definitely it was more brighter like more brightening and stuff and also it goes in so it blends in so nicely with like your liquid blush so yeah perfect bronzer there's only actually one bronzer that was going to make it to this video because i literally talk about this bronzer so so much um it will be my ride or die i'm petrified of when it runs out because i don't know if there will be any more um so yeah i'm super scared of that but it is the love island x revolution um mega bronzer in the shade vacation i've got it on today it's just super super look it blends so nicely yes it's very pigmented but you just use a very small amount and it will just blend so nicely it gives you that really nice um sunkissed skin and it also it's very strange because it looks quite warm but then it also looks quite cool toned so it's got a bit of both in so when you put it on you've got that bit of both which is super super nice and yeah i love it i love it but blush um this was a purchase of mine this year because they only came out this year they only actually came out a few months ago and it's already my favorite and it goes so well with this so you know what I'm talking about, is the Made by Mitchell um, Blush Pressed Powder. And I got it in the shade Milkshake. And it literally just matches with, can you see that? It literally matches with, obviously, strawberries and cream. They literally work so well together. And I've seen, obviously, the shade range for this as well is just huge. And it just looks so nice on the skin. I've got it on today. Um, love it. Some people have said though that the, the some of them have got shimmers in, but this is a definitely a matte one. Um, so if you do was looking for a matte one, the milkshake one is definitely matte. Brows. There's a few products for brows that I've been loving. So obviously I was going to talk about um, the brow pen that I've always spoken about and I've loved for a long time um, is the e.l.f. Um, instant brow lift pencil in the shade Taup. Love this. As you can see I've gone to bought a new one. So it's fresh in the packaging. But yeah, love this brow pen. Honestly, 1010 will probably always go back to this because it's a very creamy formula. It's easy to blend um, and it's easy to wipe any mistakes if you do make a mistake as well. But yeah, perfect. The next one is the um, Love Island X Revolution Brow Gel. This brow gel is absolutely amazing. Um, I've been loving this brow gel. It holds your brows all day. Um, and I did go, I did find more. Because I actually bought like two in case they discontinued it. Because I was like, mm. because it's a collection. You never know when they're going to discontinue. So that is the fear of mine that the issue is because they are a collection that they'll discontinue. But fear not i don't use that brow gel as much anymore can you believe it um i've actually gone and bought the pink honey 
brow gel glue um and mine is in the shade raspberry this is insane i've never known my brows to be hurled so nicely and so easily um it's such an easy product to use as you can see i'm really i don't really want to show you this but this product is messy and it does get messy quick um so do not judge uh but as you can see i have been using it a lot so i will be going on to purchase some more of that but again these sold out really quickly because they went viral and then for brow so i've stopped using brow pencils um yeah i use my elf one um with the brow gel but when it comes to the brow the honey the pink honey brow glue um i tend to that i find using brow powders actually easier and they look more flattering and more real natural um so this is actually by the body collection and this is the brow kit in the shade blonde but this is honestly amazing i think it's like two pound fifty or something but it makes your brows look so so nice and yeah i've been loving using this it even comes with two little um brushes as well so yeah that is a 1010 so eyeshadow palettes i didn't really know which ones to put a feature in this video because i have so many and the issue with brow like um eyeshadow palette says you only like a few colors in one and stuff like that so i thought mm, am i even going to be featuring a like an eyeshadow palette in this because i don't even know if this is something that there's a product in there that everything i love so i was looking for all my palettes and i was like hmm no i only like this shade in this one i only like this shade in this one i only like these shades in that one um but the palette I actually always go to and always try and do a smoky look with and love all the colours in it um, is the actual Beauty Bay um, Origin eyeshadow palette. So there is 42 colours in here. So yeah, 42 colours is a lot of colours. But it has every brown shade that you can think of with a black and shimmers so this is literally 1010 it's also got a huge mirror but yeah this is literally 1010 i was i thought yeah i have to talk about this one because it's got everything that you need in here for um any brown smoky look so this one had to feature in it because that is like my go-to look anyway so such a good product and this is such a good price as well for like 42 shades i think it was like I want to say between 10 and 15 pounds. No brainer. Or shimmers, because I do love a shimmer as well. Um, there's a few products here. So I have, these are all products that have gone absolutely viral bar one. So I'll talk about the non-viral one first. And this is the Kiko Glitter Eyeshadow. Um, and this is in the shade Zero Glitter Shower 01. This is honestly amazing. Like, look at that. That is insane. So I'll do a swatch for you. Oh, honestly, insane. So as you can see, it just is amazing. And it it just because it's just like it's like a silvery goldy color when you swatch it obviously it comes out very silver but it is a silver goldy sort of color you can mix the two in it and you just make this amazing look um so there's that one then i have the uh love with cosmetics pressed glitter i actually managed to get hold of the shade mocha can you believe it but again look at that how stunning is that and literally i've literally just pushed my finger in there and look how much has come off i don't want that much on my finger though oh my god the only thing with this product is it is obviously very very fine glitter um so I do find that you do get more fallout with this more than a um, like a shimmer because this is actually glitter. I definitely find that you get more fallout, um, which is a bit annoying. But if you do your eyeshadow first, it's fine. But yeah, look at that! How stunning is that? 
the the shine the glitter is honestly amazing and then the last product for glitter uh nobody can get hold of this let's see if you can guess so i'm going to ex describe it and i'm going to see if you can it, comment down below if you can guess what the, like what you think i'm talking about and then i'll show you what i'm talking about so it's sold out it went viral um nobody can get their hands on it it's constantly selling out as soon as it's back in stock it's sold out again um it's very very glittery very glittery it has literally everyone's talking about it on tiktok and it is amazing so i'm going to give you a little bit of time see if you can um figure out what it could be comment down below do you know what i'm even gonna do a swatch for you to see if you can get it by the swatch without showing you the product okay so there's the swatch look at that how stunning is that that is just reflective it's stunning it's beautiful yeah i mean look at the <laughs> she's reflective okay I'll tell you, it is the Made by Mitchell blush in Drip Drip. It is insane. I mean, at a distance, you can still see it reflecting. <laughs> like, that is absolutely crazy. But yeah, she's gorgeous. Honestly, the best ever purchase I've ever bought. And this will last a long time as well because you don't need a lot. Like, look at that one swatch. You do not need a lot. It dries very quickly as well, to be fair. Like, it's already dry. I have glitter all over my hands. Um, so that is for, that is the uh, shimmers. So if you do want to go and get them, good luck, because most of them are sold out. Apologies. But to be fair, with the, with the Love Cosmetics, they have so many shades. So many shades. I think they're like five pound for one. So they're not, the most affordable um if you wanted to buy a lot um and try a lot of shades out but i they would last quite a while to be fair so and you're the good thing about the with love, with love cosmetics is some makeup you are spending most of your money on the packaging because of the brand or you know the and the packaging um this is literally just a nice sleek little cardboard envelope you know your money isn't going on the packaging your money is going on the product and that's what you want out of a product so yeah mascara and there's two mascaras in here that i literally love and will always love and will always probably feature in this video um it is the maybelline sky high mascara 1010 and also i've actually brought this back into my makeup routine because i'm actually starting to love it again and it is the l'oreal telescopic mascara these mascaras one they work well together two they give you big big lashes as you can see big big lashes and three they are just the super affordable the drugstore they're high end they are amazing so 10 10 so we're going a bit high end on the um oh my god on the session spray um i actually treated myself to this and i've been loving it so i might have to buy it again um and it is the airbrush flawless setting spray by charlotte tilbury this is a very little one it's a cute small one but the mist on this is so fine so fine and it smells really nice as well which is always good but it holds your makeup um and it locks in literally no bother at all but it's just a lip balm um that i will always use because it literally hydrates my lips um and i love it it's the classic caramex lip balm but yeah so that is 
my 2022 favourites. I hope you like this video. If you like this video, please, please, please give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe and hit the bell. Turn on notifications and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,